Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Welcome to another edition of Great Millstone Mailbag Extra. Comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bar Shem Yahushai, Bar Shem Dash. All praises and glory is due. And I'm here for another edition of the Daily Edification, the Daily Exhortation. Now, yesterday at camp, you know, uh, while we were streaming live <coughs> on our comment board, uh, you had a bunch of scoffers and scorners that came on our channel, like they like they do every week, because that's their lot. You know, the lot that the Heavenly Father gave them was to scoff and to scorn. And, um, you know, they came on and they were talking about the camp and they were talking about, you know, uh, uh, first they were talking about Elder Apostle Tahar, then they were talking about myself, and then they were talking about Elder Apostle Ramlav, and then they were talking about the position of the brothers in the camp. And, I mean, a whole bunch of nonsense. You know, just just to get attention. And uh, they don't realize that eventually the Yahweh Baal Shem Yahushai will judge them for their folly. And it's right here in the book, among many scriptures, right here in the book of Proverbs 19 and 29. I tell you, I'd rather be an, uh, one that edifies and exhorts than one that scoffs and scorns. Because you're going to get a brutal judgment. And you're going to get it when you least expect it. Anyway, Proverbs 19 and 29, it says this, Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Because a scorner and a scoffer is really, in reality, a fool. That's the definition of a fool. Okay? So, one of them said that, uh, you know, trying to insult me when, actual, and when in actuality he was giving me a compliment. Okay? But he was too stupid enough to know it. So he, he goes, uh, my method of teaching is uh, likened to ABC. You know, it's an ABC method of teaching, meaning I'm really basic. My method of teaching. And that's the way you want to teach. <laughs> See, he thought he was insulting me when he was really complimenting me. But he was too stupid enough to, to realize it. Because your basic scoffer and scorner, they're not too bright anyway. And the scriptures support that. Okay. As a matter of fact, this is the book of. Uh, uh, easy. To be. Understood. That's the way you want to teach. You want to. You want to make this. This thing as simple. And as easy as possible. To understand, and the only ones that's going to understand is the hopeful elect. Okay, and here it is, right here, the book of uh, First Corinthians fourteen and nine. But um, let me let's see what's in the. Yeah, we'll just go to the point, the ninth verse. 1 Corinthians 14 and 9, it says, So likewise ye, <laughs> now this, like I told you, brothers, this jackass thought he was insulting me when he was really complimenting me, saying that my method of teaching is, is an ABC method of teaching, meaning it's very simple and basic. And here's the scripture that supports it. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 9, it says, So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue. Now, who is this speaking? This is the Apostle Paul speaking to the Israelites in Corinth, Greece. The ones that would become teachers, teachers of the word, right? He said, So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood. So here this guy think he's insulting me. When actuality, he was complimenting me. And, and, you know, truth be told, those scoffers and scorners, in, in reality, they really like us, man. You know, they try to insult us, you know, because basically they're miserable. And like the old saying goes, misery loves company. <laughs> so they're looking for individuals to be as miserable as they are. You know, they couldn't cut it in the truth. They didn't have what it takes. They didn't have the oil. 
You know, the Heavenly Father rejected them. As it is written, reprobate silver. What is that? The book of Jeremiah 6, I think it is. You know, they've been rejected. You know, they couldn't pass inspection. So all they're left to do is scoff and scorn, which is the easiest thing to do. It don't take much... Uh, it don't take much brains <laughs> to scoff and scorn, but it sure enough does take uh, brains and intelligence to teach this word correctly and directly. And, and above all, you have to have the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai dealing with you to do that. And, you know, the scoffers and scorners, come on, they ain't, they ain't got that. The Holy Spirit <laughs> resists them fools. Anyway, here it is right here, the book of <laughs> Jeremiah 6 and 30 reprobate silver shall men call them that's your basic scoffer and scorner because the lord have rejected them and then when you go in the book of uh see the lord have rejected them when you go in the book of proverbs the first chapter and you know you got to have your scoffer and scorner so we understand them that's why we don't you know they come on the comment board looking for attention we're not going to give you an uh, attention okay we may say a couple of words and then we keep it moving we got we got bigger things to do. That is to edify the elect and to exhort the elect. You ain't part of the elect. The Lord have rejected you. The only thing left for you is a cold, a cold, brutal death, which you will get, you know, eventually. And you're going to get it when you least expect it. As a matter of fact, there's a scripture on that. Yeah, there's a scripture on that. Um, before I go to Proverbs, what is it? Evil net. Evil net. I know that's in the verse. It is. Yeah, there it is right here. <laughs> Check this out. The book of Ecclesiastes. This, this is for your, your basic scoffer and scorner who are not too bright. Because, look, face it. If you were bright in this faith, you wouldn't be scoffing and scorning, okay? You'd be out there teaching. You'd be doing videos of exhortation and edification, okay? You would be enlightening the brotherhood, all right? Uh, the book of Ecclesiastes 9 and 12, I'll just go to the point. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an, in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. Now that word evil means bad age or bad time. Ev means age and ill means bad. And when you put it together, bad time or bad age. So reading it again, it says... So are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. There you go. Okay. So, you know, that scripture can be applied to your, your basic scoffing scorner. All right. When you least expect it, man, the Heavenly Father is going to take your stupid ass out. Now, let's get to Proverbs, the first chapter. Proverbs, the first chapter, uh, the 22nd verse. Now, we've, we've read the scripture constantly, but every time we read it, it always has that same impact, okay? Uh, Proverbs 1 and 22, it says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And scoffing and scorning is nothing but simplicity. Okay? How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. You had to see them. Well, those of you brothers who were, uh, you know, present during the live chat, you witnessed the comment board, and you saw how stupid those guys were, and the stupid... Uh, the stupid nonsense that was, uh, you know, coming out of them via, you know, typing on the comment section. And you could see that they delighted in that. Oh, they delighted in that. And just like the scripture said, 
Proverbs 1 and 22. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. And that shows you that they're a bunch of fools, and they hate knowledge. Okay? So eventually, they're going to get their judgment. Okay? And as you read on, you know, the Lord said in the 26th verse, I'll also laugh at your calamity. Now remember Ecclesiastes 9 and 12, when evil time fall suddenly upon the sons of men, you know, just like a bird caught in, caught in the trap, a bird caught in the snare. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And we got something called the time of Jacob's trouble coming up. So that equals what? Calamity. Okay. You know, you got this government shut down and things are going to escalate. You're going to have uh, pandemics. You're going to have uh, terrorist attacks. Some of these scoffers and corners, they may die in terrorist attacks or they may die of a pandemic. Okay. So you better believe that judgment is definitely prepared for them. And that's pursuant to Proverbs 19 and 29, which I just read. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, this is a message to your basic scoffer and your scorner, then shall they call upon me, because they know the name of the Heavenly Father and they know the name of His Son. So when they see all that trouble come upon them, they're going to call upon the, the, the Heavenly Father and His Son. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge. And what's the proof that they hated knowledge? They're scoffing and scorning the men that the Heavenly Father have chosen to bring out the knowledge, to bring out the truth. So that proves that they hate knowledge. And, and above all, they hate Yahweh Shai. They hate Yahweh Shai. And above all, the Heavenly Father have rejected them. And that's pursuant to Jeremiah 6 and 30. For that they hated knowledge and, they, and did not choose and did not choose the fear of the Lord. There you go. So getting back to what one of those jackasses said about my method of teaching, he said that I'm, you know, I'm very basic. <coughs> and like I said, that was a that was a good compliment. You know, in their, in you know, when they said it was meant to be an insult, but it was a good compliment. The way we want to teach is very is very uh, simple and plain okay let's read that scripture again so likewise ye accept ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood basic and plain your basic a b c style of teaching okay <clears throat> a lot of guys want to sound deep and they want to you know blow the back of brothers' heads with their razzle-dazzle speech, you know? <laughs> That's not what this thing is about. This thing is about being sincere and being honest. And the best way to be sincere and honest is get right to the point, man. Keep it very simple and keep it very basic. Hey, what's the, 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 the best way to travel between two points? The straightest line possible, man. The straightest line possible is the best way to travel between two points. Okay, anybody with common sense would know that. Well, it's the same thing with this knowledge. You got two points. You got us, the teacher, and the student that we're trying to teach. What's the best way to get to that student? Straightforward, in a straight line. In other words, keep it basic and simple. Okay? Again, Proverbs 14 and 9. So likewise, ye accept ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood how shall it be known what is spoken Ooh, that's a oh man goodness that's a cold cut how shall it be known what is spoken for ye shall speak into the air there you go and 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 that's something we don't want to do speak into the air okay you know we want to hit that target what's the best way to hit the target you got an archer, right, with his arrow, and you got the target, what, 100 yards away, 50 yards away? What's the best way that arrow is going to fly? Straight, man, to hit the target. If you want to hit the target, the arrow's got to fly straight. You know, cut through the air and hit that target, dead center, bam. 
Okay, that's how you want to teach, man. So here you had this jackass thinking he's insulted me when he was actually complimenting me. You know, so th thanks for the compliment, jackass, <laughs> whoever you were. Um, there was one more scripture I wanted that came to mind. Lo, uh, lo, thou speakest plainly. Let me see if I can find it. Hopefully it comes up. Speakest plainly. speak this plainly okay here it is right here <clears throat> let's go up a couple of verses uh, the book of John 16 and 24 hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name now as you can see these words are in red so these are the words of Yahweh Shai speaking to his disciples. And you notice, right, when Yahweh Shai would speak to the multitude, he would speak to them in parables. In other words, he wasn't speaking to them directly. He would speak to them in parables, and for them to understand, they'd have to have the parable broken down to them, broken down in, in a simplistic manner, okay, in an ABC manner for them to understand it. But Yahweh Shai would speak to the multitude in parables, but to his disciples he would speak, uh, plainly he would speak directly and there's a reason for that because this knowledge wasn't meant to be given to the whole nation of Israel at that time it's only meant for the elect and it's it's still the same way to this very day only the elect are going to get this knowledge and going to get this truth okay so John 16 and 24 hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. And you notice he said in his name. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs. But the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs. But I shall show you plainly of the Father. And that's that's how we teach. You know the guy said I, I uh, teach. I have a very basic form of teaching. Uh, my teaching is likened unto ABC. Something like that. I can't remember the exact words. <clears throat> that he said, but, you know, through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, I'm showing the brothers that it, it refers to, I'm showing them plainly of the Father. I'm showing you plainly of Yahweh. I'm showing you plainly of Yahweh Shai. And that's a blessed spirit to have. You know, not everybody has that spirit. Not everybody can take uh, something as complicated as this truth, and there are times when this truth can get complicated, especially when you read the book of Revelation, and you read all them, them parables and them allegories and them, symbol, them, them symbols, so like yeah, them symbols. For you to under, interpret it and break it down, you want to do it in a very simplistic manner, okay? <laughs> and that takes talent, man. Talent that the scoffer and scorner does not possess. Anyway, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from the Father. I came forth from the Father, and I'm no and I'm and I'm come into the world again. I leave the world and go to the Father. And we're waiting for him, For this is Yahweh Shai speaking, we're waiting for him to return back from the Father. And how is he going to return back from the Father? As a conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, man. And he's going to conquer Esau. You know, he's going to begin with that top elites. He's going to conquer Esau with those chariots and those nuclear missiles and destroy his system, destroy his so-called New World Order. And they're going to go beginning with that top elites of Esau and all the other nations, they're going to go right into captivity. They're going to go right into slavery. Okay, so we're waiting patiently for that. So reading on, it says, His disciples said unto him, now listen to this, His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest us, or speakest no proverb. See? <laughs> so even Yahweh Shai, when he taught, he had a ABC style of teaching. He had a very basic 
and simplistic form of teaching when he was teaching the ones that were chosen to believe in him, which were the elect, beginning with the disciples, which became apostles. So there you go, you know, just a few words I wanted to say, and thanks to that moron that made that statement, he inspired today's daily edification. Hopefully you brothers were exhorted and edified by this video. When you go to teach, brothers, you know, when you go to teach, make your style of teaching an ABC form of teaching, an ABC style of teaching. <laughs> make it as simple and plain as possible. Because after all, we got the greatest example who did that, which was Yahweh Shai, and I just proved it to you, the book of John 16 and 29. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. So there you go. All right, so with that, this has been GMS Mailbag Extra for another edition of the Daily Edification. I'll see you in the next video. Shalom for now.